Fox United here with another commentary hosted by Moles1909. I've also got Devil's Wrath who is playing this game with me as a guest commentator. Multitasking like a hole. <laughs> so it's a ranked play and uh, the guy that Devil's Wrath is against is top 100, uh, just 96 limited league. Playing full faction under depths with a first turn deep elf priestess. Uh, Devil's Wrath, as always, with a, a really good draw. Um, <laughs> the jellyfish coming out second turn, which is uh, the key to his deck as such, is that little jellyfish. Uh, it's also a large map with a lot of water on it, so Devil's Wrath automatically has a large advantage, really. Most maps have water though. Well, I don't know about most, but a lot of them do. Yeah, but on this particular map, especially at the top of the map, you can use yeah. the water to get to fonts, you know? Oh yeah, it's really difficult to be a draw like the one I've just got. Really difficult. Yeah, I mean, ideally if you draw, say, the Tide Master or the thing, then you can't really lose. It'd be difficult. Like, he hasn't drawn... He hasn't got a second turn chance, so I'm going to have a massive Nora advantage from the top fan. Um, True, yeah. The only downside is that you've not, not been able to replicate. Yeah, well, it's not really. A, it's, I guess it's kind of a downside, but not really. <laughs> not really, no. They do replicate. Even with a five turn cooldown, they seem to replicate so fast. Hmm. He's, he's probably, yeah, like... This is where you've got to um, decide whether you're going to contest the font or leave the font. I mean, in a situation like this, I think I'd rather leave the font. Yeah, a lot of a lot of players that struggle, say around ranks three, four hundred. The reason because is in this situation they would stick a champ such as that very fragile Dark Weaver straight into that middle font, thinking yeah. that they have to contest it. Yeah. When really that's just going to lose them the game because it's going to die in two hits to that arbiter yeah um, so what devils will probably do here you'd see is just build up wait for the wave crusher and a few champs to go down drown a champ go in with the wave crusher and it's game over at that point um, so it's in situations where you've only got one fragile range champ and they've got say an arbiter down you, you may want to just hold off that middle font and build up there's no disadvantage in not having that font at this point of the year. Especially as you've got the top font, which is counterbalancing the, the middle font at the bottom. Yeah. You can now replicate the jellyfish and move it across to his font as well, which forces him to deploy up there. Yeah. So overall, you're actually in a very good position with both jellyfish out. Yeah, yeah, my draw was pretty... Um, I'm happy with it. <laughs> so to sum up Devil's Wrath deck... Um, what, what he really does is he tries to get either the Thing or the Tide Master down and the Jellyfish. And the, the Jellyfish is the main part of the deck with its Replicate Sting. And once they once you've killed a few champs they also gain Teleport which means they're extremely mobile as well. Um, with the amount of water you get from the Thing and the Tide Master, Aquatic is more of a benefit than a downside because you've got, you've got mobility, you've got a bit of extra speed and damage as well. And the deck yeah. also has quite a fair amount of healing, so if, if you are struggling to beat a deck like Devils, you may want to consider anti-healing stuff, such as um, dark healing champs like Lavoil and SP that has dark healing. What's it called? <laughs> uh, the Voil... It's got transfer that. Yeah, I can't remember its bloody name. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not 100% sure either. Yeah, you'll know the Voil we're talking about anyway. <laughs> if not, someone put a comment. Also, many FW champs will also counter, obviously, this deck. Just things like Disease Breath, um, Decay, all those sorts of things. Um, so now I either decide to deploy a Mindbender, which will probably survive in the mid font for a while. The Thing, which will provide me with some water to send the jellyfish in. It's got to be the Thing, hasn't it? It's got to be. Yeah, 
Yeah, or oh, well, it's either spawn pool and angel. No, I would say get the thing down and you get the spawn pool down next turn. Yeah. That would provide you with the best chance of winning anyway. Hmm. The only downside to Devil's deck is that he can't. He hasn't got any grounding in the deck, so he can't drown any of the flying champs. Apart from tendrils and then tangling attack. Tangling attack obviously does work, which if the Arbiter comes in, you may want to consider drowning it that way. Um, yeah. Hall of Dreams is also quite a key rune in the deck. Um, Why do you only run one? Um, it's a key rune, but um, there's no space for two, really. And you get um, by fine without it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think the main reason that you actually run the Pool of Dreams, not only the Nora you get from Council Spells, which is amazing, but the Wave Crusher can then do two turns and stay in a font. Um, everybody tends to complain about the um, the Wave Crusher, but really it's the Pool of Dreams that's the problem. Um, yeah, the Wave Crusher without Pool of Dreams goes in, does one attack and then dies. Two attacks. Does two attacks. And well, then yeah, yeah. I mean, it goes in for one turn and dies. Um, with the Pool of Dreams, it goes in, does its two hits, stays in the font, and then if they stay in the font, it does another round. That's why the uh, Pool of Dreams is, is so good with the Wave Crusher. Yeah. And the only thing to be aware of when you deploy a Wave Crusher next to a Pool of Dreams, if you put the Wave Crusher within that three space zone, but with only three parts of the Wave Crusher actually in the zone, for example, if you deployed the Wave Crusher here, you wouldn't get the Pool of Dreams. It has to, it has to be fully within that two two space zone, three space zone. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the Demon Bear Vampire is quite a nice drown target. That's true. Yeah. Um, so that gets like quite that, big itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Right now, I'm thinking. I'm I'm trying to think several turns ahead, so I could either deploy the Wave Crusher now. Ready to contest his his bomb next turn, kill everything. I think the oh, question oh. is, have you got enough Nora next turn? If you deploy the Wave Crusher this turn, oh, have yeah. you got Nora for a Tendrils and Drown? Because that would uh, be a good game. I, yeah, might I might not need that. I think I'm gonna get the Wave Crusher down. He's a Marsh song. Yeah. The extra AP. Yeah, the, the Marsh Song itself is an okay spell, but it's not that great. But one of the main reasons the Marsh Songs are in the deck is for the Pool of Dreams Wave Crusher. Yeah. Because uh, not only you get the Nora back, that you're also pumping up your Wave Crusher with AP. Yeah, yeah. I, like the, it's the whole the whole combination of the Pool of Dreams, the Marsh Songs, and the Wave Crusher that's that's really good. Really, really good. I only personally, because I run a deck almost the same as this, um, I only run the one Marsh song. Um, do you really feel that two is necessary? Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, um, it's not only for the AP, but with the um, with the um, the favor from the pool of dreams, it also decreases the cost of of the actual spell. So you gain more Nora from it as well. That's true. Um, I, f I do. I do sometimes forget that you get favour on your champs when you yeah. pull the dreams buff. Um, so when you cast a spell, you gain the five Nora back as well. Yeah. You get the one AP on all of the champs that were recently deployed. Mm -hmm. One mistake that people make when the pool of dreams is down, you've now got it on one, two, three, four champs. Now, although it lasts, say, six turns, I believe. Six turns, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although it lasts for six turns. Oh wow, he's positioned that nicely, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so this would be a perfect situation for the Wave Crusher, really. Um, I'd imagine Devils has got the Nora for two spells, a Tendrils and a Drown, um, for example. Unfortunately, I, I haven't drawn Tendrils or Drown. Oh wow, really? But yeah, but I can still, um, I can still use Tidal Wave and. Reverb. Yeah, get reverb blast. 
stick the wave crusher right in the way so that he can't move anywhere. Yeah, because the wave crusher, because of the pool of dreams, is able to go in and block block these two champs off right here in that space. Yeah. Um, it's quite unfortunate that you've not drawn the tendrils of the drown, because that would have probably been game over. Yeah, I can afford it as well. Um, really? How much Nora do you have? Right now I've got 124. Yeah, so this is FS for you guys. Um, <laughs> so now I'm just trying to calculate whether I could kill the demon then or not. I do find sometimes calculating is overrated, but... <laughs> um, I think... I don't. I doubt you can kill it, but the wave crusher is going to be there and it's trapped, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't die. If he's going to sacrifice it, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't think that's going to die. <laughs> so right now, I don't think I need to um, worry too much about anything. So I'm just going to leave some chumps in shroud. I forgot my jellyfish at top. Yeah, the time is running out. But at this point, there's not much this guy can do because his his champs are really trapped, to be honest. And if he leaves them there next turn, which he's going to have to with the Demon Vein if he doesn't sacrifice, uh, the Wave Crush is going to get off two hits and kill everything. Uh, so the recent nerfs to Deep Dive doesn't really mean anything. Because although they can run away from it, the Wave Crusher, and get out of its range, you then have to abandon the font. So, either way, for 50 Nora, it's really good. You could just move the boss uh, back, and and I can't hit it because of... Oh, shit, yeah, you can relocate the... Um, hopefully, I'll draw it under so awesome. Yeah, he's going to... He's gonna um, leave the font though, and then you've got undertow. I don't know why he didn't hit with the demon vein before he ran it back though. Yeah, he should have hit the um, leech vitality. And oh. life siphon. Yeah. <laughs> Quite unbelievably, he's left the boss same range for two hits. Yeah! 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 Alright. So for some reason he's gonna let me have two attacks on the priestess. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I wondered what the hell. <laughs> he left that to the last second, didn't he? Why did he leave that? <laughs> um, oh, it has perseverance, but still. Do you have any counters for Perseverance? I've got a Mindbender. Um, yeah, which is not down. But I don't have any um, anything to counter it right now. Yeah, so I guess he was banking on the fact that you wouldn't have a counter to it and that you can either sack or ret next turn. Yeah, so it's only going to do 12-24. Um, so... Probably not worth spending Nora to try and kill the boss there. Um, because if, if I don't kill it, if I do kill it, he's just going to sack or it. But if I don't kill it, then he might leave it alive, which gives me an opportunity to kill it next turn. When he's not expecting you to counter the perseverance, maybe, yeah. Uh... Yeah.
<laughs> Five spells. Yeah. So I think best in this. Did you bother? Yeah, as predicted. <laughs> Going on. Just me throttling my brother, that's what. Huh. Right, so what have I missed? The Reavers obviously there on two health. Um so you've not proc'd perseverance yet? Not yet. Um But I've got a lot of the horror to, to play with, so I'm on hundred and one Nora at the minute. So i I've got an undertow up. I'll probably drown something, get the reaver in there, undertow for a perfect cleave thing. Yeah, this is this is um, what we discussed last night. Are you running the two undertows or just the one? Still just the one. Mm. So my plan now is to run, just simply run the jellyfish in for the spell presence. Unfortunately, I haven't drawn tendrils yet. Um, Twenty-five draws in. Um, Neither of them. No. Still no tendrils. Uh, right. Yeah, I got the tendrils. So. Right. Okay, so although this guy's had the middle font for the whole game, you'd say Devil's Draft's probably got more champs because of the jellyfish. You got Drown up at all? No, no, I haven't drawn it, unfortunately. Have <laughs> uh, you got Enchantress? So, it's, it's, uh... so now you can see it in three camps. Um... And the Reaver is dead. The Reaver's dead. Um, the Wave Crusher then blocks the font as well. Yeah. 18 seconds. And 
the one good thing about the Dark Weaver is his Shroud, uh, which obviously grants evasive to all the champs. <coughs> and the second Enchantress goes down to heal after the Rep Okay. It's one of those champs that you don't ever want to deploy, really, isn't it? Until you need the healing. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't, um, if you get it early, it's not, it's not a bad thing, it's still a, a 7 range, 7 speed, 11 damage, champ for 69 Nara, but to get the best use out of it, you want the impenetrable and the A heal on a lot of things. Also, the, the fact that it can cleanse all Maya folk champs is also, yeah. also yeah, that, that's a real thing. Mainly for the thing, because people try to stop the thing when it gets pumped up. But at this point, the thing's on 77 health, 8 speed, 4 defense. And I'm assuming that the Demon Bane's going to be drowned next turn. Yeah, if I draw it. And of course, because of the Pool of Dreams, that uh, Wave Crusher is going to do a lot of damage again next turn. Yeah. Unless he kills it. Which. He, he might do, but I doubt can. it. Um, Not less than this. Yeah, he's going to have to use a rep. <laughs> <laughs> um, something like that, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's not a complete disaster for him because he's been attacking with the Leech Vitality if, champs. If he doesn't kill it, then everything there is dead, without a doubt. Um, well, yeah, look, he's going to use two spells for some reason. I get a 20 Nora from the pool. <laughs> yeah, and now Devil's picks them globes up. Uh, because the Wave Crush is short lived, uh, it gives you a globe worth around, what is it, around 15 Nora? Something like that. So now I, um, I can drown, the, I can pretty much kill up the, the three champs there. Yeah, I mean, you, you can even. Well, there's no point drowning the 20 health thing. You may as well drown Demon Bane. I can't drown that anyway, so I can't drown it. But, um, the Demon Bane? Yeah, I'll drown the Demon Bane. It's on water, so... I mean, with the amount of Nora you've got, especially... Um, oh, no, the Demon Bane's in dead, so I can't drown that. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, <laughs> That's a good point. It's, it's undead, apparently. So I think I'll trap those those champs there in with a poisonous fumes or something. Um, what are you gonna do about the situation at top? I've got two hundred and thirty Nora, so I'll, I'll do something. Two hundred and thirty Nora, wow. Yeah. Um. So is there any way you're able to get some water on that Gloombringer and drown that instead? Yeah, I could tidal wave, but um, it's do it, man. Um. I'd rather tidal wave here. What if you can kill a champ? Alright, 10 seconds, man. You need to hurry up. You need to move that shit ASAP. Deploy it top, deploy it top, deploy it top. Two seconds. Oh, man. Um. Yeah, I could do to stop commentating. <laughs> yeah, that. You, you need to start thinking a bit quicker, man. I've still got, like, work in our, uh... I think at this point... Oh, tendrils. Really what he does. <laughs> uh, people always forget tendrils. Um, it lasts three turns, which is pretty insane. It's crazy. <coughs> yep. Yeah. And that's game. Good. Uh, Tendrils does it again, um, and you had what nearly 200 Nora to finish. So as you can see, I basically wasn't watching, and I still won. Yeah. So it just I guess shows the power of FS. Post nerf. <laughs> GG. See you next time. <laughs>